Last night there was another massive storm and the river rose another like five and a half metres or something and it's getting closer and it's moving so quickly and not just in a straight line but there's all these eddies and whirlpools everywhere and it looks like it would be one of the funnest kayak rides of your life but maybe also the last kayak ride of your life so it's a bit weird and it's a bit weird that I can just sit here and be fine while that is happening right there. They say that the flooding would have to be absolutely catastrophic to actually get to our house, but at this rate, kind of wouldn't surprise me. There's this very kind of apathetic atmosphere in Penrith at the moment. It's not like we don't care. It's more that we're just a bit tired about having to care about so many things <laughs> which I think is pretty pretty universal at the moment if the world is ending then surely the last thing we need is another youtuber right I've actually never been to this part before it's pretty peaceful there are a lot of parts of this town that I haven't actually explored yet and probably won't get to see before I move which is strange because I've lived here for 20 years, I think. So that's a bit odd. I just realized that my sweater's on backwards. Um. <laughs> okay, that's better. Sorry about that. I forgot what I was going to say, so we can just move to the next shot now. Sitting in bed for hours and wearing pretty robes Dancing with strangers and moving back home and Deciding not to think so hard about it anymore Ooh. I am a model for my sister She's making me do this Fire in the corner, just okay. don't look That's at going to it. Be the second Try to ignore the all the smoke in your lungs. There's a fire in the corner, the but just don't look at it. Try to ignore all the smoke in your lungs. There's a fire in the corner, but just don't look at it. It is so wet. Well, this is a fitting day to visit a cemetery, isn't it? I would come here actually quite a lot uh, in the year before I moved. I really like cemeteries, but not in a weird way, more of like a, it's quiet here and it's nice. That's as deep as it gets. I'm not. Um, and I always saw this tombstone in particular and I remember seeing this for the first time and thinking that this was the saddest thing ever. I remember looking at it and going, I really don't want that to happen to me. I had just gotten out of high school with all these great friends and great grades and I was so sure that by the time I was 20 I would be doing pretty well but I think that the biggest challenge of the past three years has been to redefine what pretty well means. 
I thought that there was going to be one moment in which I knew I was an adult and it was going to be big and exciting and salient but it's actually just been a bunch of little moments and they've been pretty mundane and boring and insignificant. Uh, like, like when I was when I was alone in my apartment in Melbourne and I realised that I was the one who had to go get the groceries or when I had to navigate the hospital for the first time or when I got psyched over buying Tupperware or when I learned how to say charcuterie or when I realised that everyone is just a little bit lonely. There are still things that I want to do and places I want to go and there's a person that I want to become but I get to be here watching it all happen and seeing myself grow. So I am doing pretty well.